Bobby Haas is at the top of his game. Oh, they're head to head, beautiful. Just beautiful. His new book, An Aerial Look at Latin America, has gone into its second printing. But Haas is by no means ready to rest or even slow down. He's already working on another book of aerial photography. Just warm it up here a little bit. Okay. For the past six years, Bobby Haas has traveled from Africa to South America and now the Arctic. I've always been fascinated by how people deal with ultra cold environments. And uh, the idea of challenging myself physically, mentally, emotionally, dovetailed with the notion of catching the more northern climates before they change so radically. So, I'd, and nobody had done it. I think that was uh, a major appeal. 13 years ago, Haas picked up his first camera to take on safari. It was love at first shot. What sort of pictures were you taking at that time? I mean, it wasn't the type that you're doing now. No, they were pretty lousy. <laughs> <laughs> but then Haas stepped onto a helicopter in Africa on vacation. And that's when things really took off. When going places few photographers have gone before, sometimes just figuring out where to point the camera can be, well, dizzying, which we learned on a flight with Haas, high above the Alaskan interior. How do you deal with the, uh, the danger element of being up here, flying around in a little aircraft like this one? For whatever reason, I get in an aircraft, I get in a helicopter, take the door off, it doesn't bother me at all. To keep himself in the plane, Haas has a specially designed harness. I've had close calls, yes, yes. Still, Bobby Haas is a photographer who sees himself answering to a higher calling. With the aerial photography, you don't see any national borders. You don't see different cultures. You don't see different ways to worship God. Things that you get very preoccupied with when you're down on the earth. What you do see is the world from a decidedly different perspective. Take this herd of cattle. Or even this. It's a sewage treatment plant. And when was the last time you looked down on the Andes? Haas has traveled to some of the most isolated and rugged places on Earth, places only easily accessible from the air. But if you live in Dallas, his hometown, you need only take a trip to the mall to see his work. So how many pictures are on display here at the mall? There are a total of 40 images on display. And how many in the book? Total? The book has 114, so it's roughly a third of the uh, images from the book. And how many photographs did you take to get down to that 114? We took a few more. We took 70,000. Wow. As eye-catching as his prints can be, they're not for sale. He doesn't want or need the money. Aerial photography is expensive. Yes. How expensive? Very expensive. <laughs> and that's where his other career, as Robert B. Haas, financial mogul, comes in handy. Back in the 80s, Haas earned a fortune in the bare-knuckle world of leveraged buyouts, his former firm, Hicks and Haas. And what did Hicks and Haas do? We, we consumed a lot of soft drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically? We bought uh, A&W, Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, Country Time. And where did that take you? It took me to a new stage in my life. His first book became one of the best sellers in National Geographic's history. And this month, his photographs are featured in a spread in the magazine. Two, three kilo tango, contact, departure, good flight. But Haas believes becoming a high-flying aerial photographer has actually made him more down to earth. And I think the reason for that is when you're in business and you're chasing dollars and dollars are the scorecard, the only beneficiary of your success is you. When you're an artist and you share your work with the world, you go from a very selfish form of success to a more selfless form, a sharing form of success. Proceeds of his book sales are being given to National Geographic's conservation and exploration efforts. And thanks to Bobby Haas's soaring ambition, we are given the chance to see the world with a heightened awareness.